Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Avon Resources. Welcome back to the show, Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. Jim, what kind of challenges are junior mining companies and exploration companies finding uh, with this COVID virus crisis? Uh, it's, it's affecting uh, everyone at every le- level. I mean, it's just the fact of uh, the fear of spreading the virus is shutting down a lot of mines, that, um, curtailing a lot of mines. I mean, that's one of the reasons I think, you know, the gold price was, you know, is so readily wanting to go up because the supply is being curtailed. Um, a lot of mines in Canada, there, there's a whole list of them now. Uh, you got a lot of mines that are going into uh, one shift instead of working two shifts, that sort of thing. Um, and then they're very careful about the, sh- the shift that comes back, right? They go two weeks on, two weeks off, let's call it that. Um, you know, and these guys go away, like Rainy River, the, the mine there at New Gold. Uh, their issue is with so much of their staff lives in the Rainy River area in Fort Francis, and they go across the bridge at International Falls and go bin shopping down in Minnesota, and then come back, and they don't isolate. So it's affecting their their operations, and I think they basically have just had to shut her down because so much of their staff is in isolation. Um, up in the north, uh, Red Chris is having an issue. The Taltan Nation, for example, is is very concerned because when their people, there's so much of the employment up there, is, is their guys are all, a lot of them are working at Red Chris and. Um, they get off their shift and they take off down to Smithers and Terrace and they, and then they come back, uh, after shopping and all that. So they're, they're starting to put restrictions on the movement of, uh, the Taltan people and trying to keep them within the Taltan nation area. And, uh, you know, shop there, can't leave. If you leave the territory and want to come back, you gotta isolate yourself for two weeks. Um, it's, you know, it's a big concern and I'm watching carefully because if they, decide to stop everything then you know we can't go to work um so i'm watching that carefully and as far as our abin's interests up there um i've basically got it all on hold right now we'll go ahead and then look to get um uh the pricing all done contracts but not signed uh, get all that ready to go so by june late june it, it's it, it's okay it's we can go and work, but I'm just concerned it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, so, you know, you've got all the junior miners, the junior uh, exploration companies are looking at ability to raise money. Um, I think the gold market could have a good run. That may help that part of the market, but there's a lot of other sectors, you know, the base metals and, and all that, um, that aren't doing real well. And, uh, you know, you've seen gold spike, and I think with this infusion of money in the states two trillion dollars coming in to try to avoid a financial crisis um you know i think that's going to be really good for gold i think gold is just going to take off um so you know we're we're pretty hopeful for better days but it's this it's like the you know the fellow on the, the those the uh the talks every day that trump has down in the states with the the head vir- you know, the virologist or whatever we call him. He said yesterday, it's, uh, we don't make the timeline for this. The, the virus makes the timeline. So, you know, don't get over excited about possibly it ending sooner than later. I think it's going to be later. Um, but hey, and by that, I mean more months rather than Easter. Uh, so, you know, there is a big effect and it's, not just about the virus it's about being able to finance it's about all that and uh, i think once gold takes a serious move the door might start to open for financings is it hard for uh, small companies to move money around right now especially if you have operations that are spread across the country or across the planet well yeah uh, the banks are um, you know they're partially staffed they rotate staff in and out much like the government does so yeah, I do have one of a company in this office that does rely heavily on wire transfers. And that's tough. It takes longer. Um, you know, some, sometimes they're not even there to do it. So you got to select the right day of the week and you plan like four days ahead to get the wire 
to actually work properly and get to its destination. If uh, companies are properly run, are they going to be able to survive this? Absolutely. Um, you know, you need to start cutting back now. Um, I've been sitting with the spreadsheet here, <laughs> and uh, you know, there's I I I own uh, Sentinel Markets, and um, you know, we've got the five companies in here, and so I just want to make sure they're all handling their cash really well. Uh, most of the guys in management and the uh, the accounting staff and that they're all taking cuts right now to keep the doors open you know even if it's an extra month you never know but you know, we're all fairly well cashed up but we're gonna sit on it for a bit so we got some really solid direction Jim for people who are new to Abbott resources what are you all about we're a um, gold exploration company um, and we have projects in BC, uh, I've got one kind of on hold in, in Saskatchewan as well, and I've got uh, another project um, up in the Yukon, which is also on hold. Um, and the BC is our flagship uh, it's up in the Golden Triangle. And, you know, we've got good plans to move forward, and we're just waiting to make sure the timing is right. And where are you traded and under what symbols? Well, we're traded on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol ABN. We're in the OT, uh, OTCQB, ABNAF, and uh, Frankfurt is E2L2. When people need more information about Avon, where should they go? Best thing to do is go to the website. It's a good one. Yeah, I'm actually rebuild, I'm building a new one right now, too, with a different look, but it's also going to be really nice. AvonResources.com. Jim, thank you so much for the update. You bet. Thanks a lot. I've been speaking with Jim Pettit, CEO and President of Avon Resources. I'm Jim Goddard. We Our conversation took place on March 26th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of House Street Media Incorporated.